Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and today I wanted to cover a topic that is a little bit difficult for me to approach. Honestly, with all the quarantine stuff going on right now, my depression levels have been a lot more higher. My anxiety has been high as well. So maybe that's a part of what's going on, but I do want to kind of share my feelings and be a little bit more serious on my channel, which is kind of fun for me because usually like my whole channel has just been about like having fun and being free and doing whatever and most of my content you see me fairly on the up and up I guess um <laughs> so we're bringing it back down today uh a bit if you guys aren't into that that's fine you can catch me in my next happy-go-lucky fun time video but I just wanted to kind of speak on my feelings lately also before we begin I know some of the topics that I'm talking about could sound like I'm being ungrateful which is not the case, um, I want to address <laughs> some things uh, that I think are very important for people in my YouTube channel community uh, to know, especially the newer folks that are hopping in. Um, so let's get right into that. Uh, firstly, you guys will notice that there are a lot more people here than were before, like maybe a couple months ago, like two months ago maybe. Um, at least 800 or so, I want to say, subscribers have joined us now. So there's obviously double as many than I started two months ago, which is insane. That blows my mind. <laughs> um, and I do really want to say thank you guys for joining me on my journey, um, the new folks, the people that have been here for a while. I really do appreciate that you guys saw the content that I post and thought it was interesting enough to stick around. However, I've started to notice something and I think, and I'm not going to sit there and compare myself as like a bigger YouTuber or whatever, because obviously I'm still fairly small. but. I've started to notice that as you get more and more new people in, there starts to become like this distance between myself and like the group of people I was talking to beforehand or like my community. It starts to feel like a bit of a gap because the newer people that are coming in don't really know me that well and then I am not recognizing or knowing any of the new names here. Um, trying my best but there are a lot of you guys <laughs> and one of me so I really do try my best to like talk to every single one of you that I can or at least like and um, favorite all the comments or whatever or like heart it whatever you want to call it I try to be there for everyone as much as I possibly can uh, but since the number is growing obviously that has become a lot more difficult for me to do I find it interesting that lately I've started to get more and more people like asking for my advice on things for their own spiritual paths uh, in like private message and things like that or through email, um, things like that, which I don't mind helping people out, I guess, with uh, if they are interested in hearing my point of view on something. Um, but I want to be very straightforward in the fact that I don't consider myself a spiritual teacher or master or any of those like fancy things, I guess. <laughs> um, and I, at this current time, don't offer anything like that for purchase, I guess, if you will, or like mentorshipping right now. Um, and it's not really because I can't or that I refuse to or anything like that. It's more along the lines of, I'm sorry, there is a spider on the windowsill and that just is like in my face right now. Hello, Mr. Spider. It's not that I can't or that I won't like do that in the future or don't have any desire to. Like I definitely might pursue something like that in the future. Um, but right now personally, like on my own level, I don't feel qualified enough to be giving that sort of example to others. And quite honestly, right now, that's not what my YouTube channel started as or is about right now. I know there are a lot of people that get inspiration or excitement or they start to discover something new about their own paths from me or learn something new from me from my videos. Um, so 
I understand that you could definitely learn something or gain a new perspective and that's super exciting and I love that. I'm all here for that because I am here to connect with everybody. But at the same time, my YouTube channel is not something that's like, this is how you do it, I'm here to teach you, come along with me and I'll show you how to do this, this, and this to a T. It's never been what my channel's been about. <laughs> um, recently I've been kind of getting a lot of people asking me like about their own deities or about their own paths. Like, is this who's making contact with me? Um, is this my guide? Is this what path I'm supposed to follow? Etc. so on and so forth. Um, and it's really a bit frustrating for me because I will say things along the line of like, well, I'm not too sure, but follow your intuition or instinct. You can watch videos. I already have videos up that people can go through. I have quite a selection to go through and most of the topics people are asking me on, I already have content made for that. Um, so it's a little bit frustrating, especially when people want me to like kind of hold their hand on how to do their own spiritual work. I am not really here to show you how to do things. And I think people often confuse the fact that because someone has more subs or they start to gain more subs in the community, that they're automatically here for like spiritual community help and to like show someone how to do something for them. And again, not to say that we can't talk back and forth and have a conversation about what things might be. I'm your fellow witch in the community. Like, I'm your witchy big sister. I'm here, I do all the crazy stuff. And you're like, oh, wow, I didn't know you could do that. And I'm like, here's the secrets, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I'm not here to like being that teacher and guide, like showing you and holding your hand to the right way or the path or whatever. That's gonna be great for you. Although I can definitely have things that are inspiring that come through my work. I don't know. I just wanted to kind of clarify that for you guys because I think people take the assumption that because someone has a lot of subs in the witchy community that automatically means that they are here to solve all your problems. And I am not here to solve all your problems. I think it's also interesting people get this um, expectation as well that because I have a certain amount of subs that I am here to serve them personally automatically. Um, and that's not the case either. At the end of the day, the only person that I need to serve is myself. Um, as selfish as someone might take that, it's the truth. I'm here to work through my own spiritual path. My whole channel is about me sharing my path with you. I know that might come across a bit harsh or mean. I definitely don't mean it in that way. I just really want to clarify with you guys about who I am um, and what I offer currently, which is just my friendship, basically. <laughs> um, and again, in the future, I may feel more in my power to become sort of this teacher figure and I may offer services for that. Uh, but at this current time, that is not who I am or what I'm doing. So I just wanted to really push that forward and let you guys know um, about that. Furthermore, I do want to turn it to a little bit of a good and happier note towards the end of this video. I really am intrigued in getting to know all the newer people that are hopping up on my channel right now. Um, so I've already kind of shared a couple of things about me to make sure you guys kind of have a good idea of who I am um, and what kind of witch I am, so on and so forth. So I would like to give all of the newer folks, or even if you've been here for a while and you just want to like state for yourself, if you feel comfortable, please uh, introduce yourself to me. Tell me what kind of witchcraft or what kind of witch you consider yourself to be or identify as, if you identify as one. Um, if you don't identify as a witch, you can tell me what kind of things you are practicing or interested in. So maybe you're just like a tarot or oracle reader, that's fine too. Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys are researching about right now, what are your main interests. I just thought it would be fun to kind of get to know all the newer people and faces in the community, and not only for myself, but also for those who have been on my journey with me for a while too, they can also welcome the newer folks in, and I just really want that connection to be here again. Um, my community is very connected and loving community. I try to 
bring that forward in everything that I do. Anyways, to round it up guys, uh, thank you so much for being here and being a part of my community. Again, I don't want this video to come across in a way that's like me being unappreciative of the people here or anything like that or unappreciative of people wanting to talk with me. That's really not what it's about. I just want to make sure that it's clear that I am not like the all in all guru teacher fancy spiritual lady. I do have projects coming up in the future that I would love uh, like an oracle deck I've been working on. It's probably gonna take a long while guys but I'm super excited for that. I just want to make sure you guys know that I am here as your witchy friend, your witchy big sister. I am here to make your day more fun and excitable and help you learn a little bit along the way. I hope the newer folks that have been hopping in so far are enjoying what they see here on my channel and I hope that the folks that have already been here for a while are making sure everyone feels safe and connected here and loved and um yeah i just really hope for that connection to sort of blossom and bloom again i don't want to lose the connection between myself and the viewers here uh because i think that's really important anyways guys i have been rambling for far too long i will catch you in the next video and i really care and love you guys all so so very much thank you for being here uh, thank you for pressing subscribe, for liking, for sharing, for doing all the things that you do because you're amazing and awesome and I love you. Um, until the next video, much love guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!